In ship stability, list, and lull, both describe situations where a ship is inclined to one side, but they have distinct causes and implications. Here's a breakdown of each term. List refers to the tilting or leaning of a vessel to one side. This inclination is caused by the uneven distribution of weight on board such as uneven loading of cargo, fuel, ballast water, or ingress of water into one side of the ship due to damage or hull breach, causing the ship's center of gravity to be off the centerline. The characteristics of list are, the ship has a positive metacentric height, GM, indicating that it is in stable condition, but leaning to one side. The center of gravity, G, is offset from the centerline, but still below the metacenter, M, maintaining a stable condition. If you are not familiar with the ship's metacentric height, GM, I made a separate video about this, kindly check the link in the description. List can be corrected through ballasting, shifting of cargo, and pumping out of water due to flooding. I made a separate video on how to calculate the angle of list, kindly check the link in the description. Angle of law refers to the angle at which a vessel will come to rest if she is floating in still water when she is heeled over to either port or starboard. In my previous video, I have shown various stability conditions of the ships. Those are stable, unstable, and neutral conditions. In this video, I will show you the effect of unstable conditions on ship stability, leading to a neutral state, which will result in one of the dangerous scenarios in ship stability, the angle of lull. The ship at an angle of lull means that she is in an unstable condition. The ship's center of gravity, g, is above metacenter, m, where kg is greater than km, so the metacentric height or gm is negative. Let us take a look at the stable and unstable conditions. This is the stable condition, where the metacenter is above the center of gravity. And this is the unstable condition, where the ship's center of gravity is above metacenter. When they are healed by external forces to some angle, as the weight force and buoyancy force got separated, a riding lever or riding arm was created known as GZ. GZ or riding lever is the horizontal distance between the center of gravity, G, and the vertical line of action of buoyancy force. If moments are taken about the ship's center of gravity, G, in stable condition, there is a moment to return the ship to an upright position, since the riding lever was created on the low side. The weight force acts vertically downward on the high side, while the buoyancy force acts vertically upward on the low side, creating a moment that will bring the ship in upright position. This moment is called a moment of statical stability, known as the riding moment. In unstable conditions, when the ship is healed at some angle, a capsizing lever is created at the high side of the ship. The weight force acts vertically downward through the center of gravity at the low side, while the buoyancy force acts vertically upward at the high side through the center of buoyancy, creating a moment that will tend the ship to heal further. This moment is called a capsizing moment. But this moment will not capsize the ship, it will only tend to heal the ship further until the ship's center of buoyancy is directly above the ship's center of gravity. In this state, the ship now is in neutral condition. Assuming that the ship is floating in still water without any external forces, she will remain in this position since no riding lever or capsizing lever exists. The angle formed between the vertical line of force and the ship's centerline is called the angle of lull. If the ship is healed further beyond the angle of lull by some external forces, the center of buoyancy moves further at the low side, creating a riding lever and riding moment that will bring back the ship at an angle of lull. If no external forces exist, she will come to rest at an angle of lull, not in an upright condition. Let us compare these two conditions. List refers to the condition in which a vessel leans or tilts to one side, typically due to uneven distribution of weight or shifting cargo on board. Let's say, 
The ship is in stable condition. And we will add a weight to this side. The ship center of gravity will move towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. The new center of gravity is at G1, in which it is off the center line. As a result, the ship is listing to where the new G is off the center line. While at angle off lol, the ship center of gravity is along the center line, it is a result when the ship is in unstable condition. At an angle of lol, the ship may flop to either side, she will be heeled to starboard and will rest if there are no external forces exist. But if some external forces bring her to the other side, then she will heel to the other side and will remain in this condition if no external forces are applied. The ship will oscillate about the angle of lol, instead of her upright position. So the angle of lol may occur either on port or starboard, depending on the direction of the external forces. While in listing, the ship will only list to one side, towards the side where the ship's center of gravity is off the centerline. List is easy to correct compared to the angle of lol. In this case, we can add weight to the other side until the ship's center of gravity is along the centerline. Be sure that by doing these, you have calculated the ship's kg since adding weight above the ship's center of gravity, the ship's g will rise. But for the angle of lol, you cannot do this. Adding weight on the high side when the ship is at angle of lol will worsen the situation. Let's say, we add a weight here. If she is heeled to the other side, supposed to be she will rest at an angle of lol. But since you have added weight on this side, the new position of ship center of gravity will be off the center line, causing the ship to heel further. Now you have two serious problems, the angle of lol still exists, and at the same time, the position of the ship center of gravity is off the center line. How to correct the angle of lol? Take action to reduce the ship's kg by lowering the ship's center of gravity below the meta center. If you have a wing tank which is full of ballast, emptied it by discharging first the ballast on the high side. When it is emptied, then discharge the ballast on the low side. Another way to lower the ship's g is through ballasting. Select a subdivided double bottom tank and fill it with ballast water in this sequence. If it is divided into three compartments, start filling the tank on the low side. When the tank on the low side is completely full, start filling the center tank. If the center tank is full, fill the third tank which is on the high side. If all tanks are completely full, and the ship's center of gravity is below the meta center, the ship will return to its upright condition. Another way to correct the angle of lol is to reduce the effect of free surfaces due to slack tank. Identify the slack tank below the ship's G and start topping up. This means filling those tanks until it is completely full to reduce the virtual rise of the ship's center of gravity. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, thank you for watching, bye.